the story of a river otter. <laughs> a long time ago, his family abandoned him. He is lost and has made a home for himself nestled in a small hole. <laughs> he is very sad and lonely. He wishes he could have a more fulfilling life. <laughs> <laughs> he dreams about being with other animals every day, but does not have the motivation. <laughs> junkyard. <laughs> he is lonely too, but out of choice. He doesn't want anyone to touch his possessions. He hides between his piles of junk and does not come out unless disturbed. <laughs> morning, the river otter decides to crawl out of his hole and meander around. <laughs> he is very hungry and scavenges to find a scrap of food. All of a sudden, he stumbles upon a luscious fig. <laughs> he hasn't had a fig since his family left. He, ta he takes a bite and the taste of the fig sparks a memory of him and his family happy together. This fig makes him reminisce on the old joy and comfort he once had. <laughs> the river otter decides he wants to go on a journey to find something or someone that will fill the loneliness of his lost family. What an inspiring fig. <laughs> trudges through the zappy forest and the rigid mountains. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the river otter leaves his hole. He feels euphoric since it has been a long time since he has seen the open. He decides to follow the river. Maybe then he will run into another animal. He starts to get lost in his thoughts. He remembers the times when he would sit around a campfire and make music noises with his family. They would all sing and dance and laugh together. What a jubilant river otter pack they were. <laughs> the otter trudges through the zappy forest and the rigid mountains. He has been traveling for almost a month now. There is still no sign of anyone or anything. He is becoming discouraged and wants to stop and resort to a hole again. <laughs> but his thoughts are disturbed as a large pile of junk physically stops him. It is atrocious. There is no way around it. So the river otter decides to go through. Within the pile, the otter discovers a ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> he picks it up, plays it, and starts to feel comfort because it reminds him of the old happy days. such a jubilant feeling. <laughs> All of a sudden, the king sugar rat of the junkyard hears this tune and is lured towards it. He sneaks up closer to listen. The river, the river otter sees the sugar rat and stops playing. Nor 
Normally the sugar rat would be very angry, but not this time. The two look at each other with admiration. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Rat tells the otter to follow him through his junk. <laughs> the river otter is hesitant at first. <laughs> but the river otter is flabbergasted when the Sugar Rat shows him the biggest fig tree he has ever seen. The river otter is, <laughs> the river otter is overjoyed and picks a few figs. <laughs> Those are the most figs I have ever seen. <laughs> the river otter instantly feels at home in the junkyard. He asks if he can stay and keep the sugar rat company. Please. <laughs> the sugar rat agreed if the river otter would play the ukulele every day. Happily, they danced and played the ukulele and ate figs for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs>